Hey everybody, this is FHRC Brony, ready controlling cars, and today I am bringing you guys back another RC video. Um, nothing related to any driving at the moment, because uh, I don't have any suitable space to actually drive these things at the moment, except for outside my house. But uh, today I'm just going to show you guys the comparison video of a standard Traxxas Rustler and my my built Traxxas Rustler uh, Project O Rouge. You've seen plenty of videos of this uh, a few months ago on this. I haven't posted any RC videos in general because you know life is just kicking me right now but I haven't given up on RCs so anyways let's begin with the comparison let's go ahead and put this Rustler two-wheel drive front and center and in fact this is actually my fourth Rustler that I ever owned uh, the first one it was actually bought uh, as a birthday gift for me back in 2016 then eventually I sold that and kind of missed the Rustler thing and then I just went back to buy another Rustler I got a roller uh, from offer up then eventually I sold that one and then I kind of missed the Rustler again so I built Project O Rouge over there and then my uncle decided to give this to me as a Christmas gift but it was salvaged and I decided to restore it so this Rustler two-wheel drive is basically the same thing as what I actually got back in 2016 but a little slight difference um, instead of it being 2.4 gigahertz this is just the standard 27 megahertz as you can see although this uh, controller was not um, factory stock for this particular rustler well or even tracks in general um, it did have a 27 megahertz similar to this but it was uh, just a TQ2 because uh, this one with third channel was mainly for the Emax, not Emax, sorry, uh, the T-Max, which had the this switch right here for reverse. So that's, uh, but I got this one for like 30 bucks at offer up as well, so so I can get this thing back up and running. So, anyways, what you're seeing here is very similar, aside from the ESC, not ESC, but aside from the well, yeah, aside from the ESC. The receiver and the servo this is pretty much the same rustler uh, or a similar rustler as what I got back in 2016 except this one's a little bit older so, um, so all right so in this rustler I, I actually when I got this rustler it it was pretty much salvaged um, no a arms I believe Actually, it had a front had front a arms, but it had a couple of parts missing, such as uh, such as uh, caster blocks, like the one right there. Uh, rear a arms, wheels, all that other crap. Motor, ESC receiver. So it was pretty much gutted out. So I decided to bring this thing back to life by restoring it. Um, has the old XL5 ESC. This is the one that can actually accept uh, 3S LiPo, even though it might jeopardize it if you run it too hard. It uh, has the standard brush Titan 12 turn motor back there. And then, oops, sorry for moving the camera right there. Um, this receiver was actually, is a, it's quite a big one for a, well, what it is. But I also have over here a an Amazon steering servo. And I had to kind of, uh, not really jerry-rig, but uh, I had to custom build the, um, the steering rack because that steering rack over there is not for this rustler. It's actually for the nitro rustler that's sitting behind me that you don't see on camera. But that's actually, this steering rack is for the Nitro Rustler. Um, and due to the fact that the steering horn is too big, I had to cut, cut, a, little, cut a little bit of here so I can have, so this thing can have some uh, clearance. So, 
Now it steers just fine. So, we're good with that. The shocks are still our stock. All, all I just did was change the, the seal inside and put new oil in and yep, this thing goes back just fine. There's the front. And uh, I don't have a gear cover for this, but you know, I'm not driving hard on this thing, so it shouldn't be a big deal. But uh, what else? That's pretty much it for this Rustler. I also bought some new drive shafts for it on the back and stuff like that. So, yeah, pretty much all the essentials for this thing to get back up and running. So, yeah. I guess I don't really need to talk more about this thing, so on to Project Eau Rouge. Okay, so here is Project Eau Rouge. Um, Eau Rouge is actually named after one of the famous uh, turns in Circuit de Spa Francochamps, which is a racetrack located in Belgium. Um, named, also named after the river, the little creek in, in Belgium, also known as Eau Rouge. So, I actually started building Project Eau Rouge back in uh, October 2019, and then I finished this finished it somewhere in January 2020. So it was a few months for me to build this thing because I had, first of all, I need to have the funds for to build it off. So I did not actually start building this thing for like uh, in one shot. So it took me a while to get this thing up and running. So, uh, I now pardon the dust and the dirt here, because uh, this thing has been sitting on my shelf for a while. So, now first of all, some people might mistake this thing as a Rustler 4x4. I have the Rustler 4x4 body and the Rustler 4x4 wheels and tires. And yes, it kind of does look like a Rustler 4x4, but it's not. In fact, it's not a Rustler 4x4, it's a Rustler 2 wheel drive underneath. And starting off with the body, it's uh, you know a typical uh, Rustler 4x4 body. But uh, I actually did not use the uh, the self-locking locking system. And instead, I used the old-fashioned uh, clips. So I punched holes in there using a body reamer, and then to hold that wing in place because the in order for the wing to be held on the standard wrestler 4x4 is you need to have a uh, has like a body mount for, that's uh, connected to here and what that does is it's supposed to hold the body in place it acts actually acts like a roll cage and a body mount at the same time that's where the clipless body mount comes into play but i did not use that so i just decided to use some some tie rods to hold the wing in place so that thing's not going anywhere so we're good with that so out with the body so once I like I said this is just a standard rustler 4x4 but I added a little bit of some I did add some upgrades on it uh, nothing cr nothing crazy no crazy upgrades here uh, don't expect any uh, STRC or IntiG or uh, aluminum parts, any aluminum parts here. Everything that you're seeing here is all still standard plastic. Um, if you guys are wondering if I how I got that body on on there, because this is uh, the Russell four x four body is not a direct compatible, not a direct com not a direct compatibility with the standard two wheel drive Russell. All I did was I actually use a shock. Uh, a shock shaft spacer and a long screw to rise this up a little bit and I also cut a little piece right here on the shock tower one over here and one over there so I can a be able to put these so I'll be able to clear these tie rods to hold the wing in place and what I also used is uh, body, 
uh, body mounts for uh, the Fortec 2.0, the one specifically with the Ford GT body. So, but everything else, it's a standard two-wheel drive rustler. I changed up the uh, the front bumper. The front bumper is um is RPM, and the suspension arms is RPM. And these suspension arms over here for the this one is actually longer than the than the stock ones. The stock length is I also have another RPM RPM uh, suspension arm and which is right here on my hand. And this is the, the new one, the longer the longer one. And as you can see, hopefully you can see. I don't know if I can. That one's shorter. So, yeah. So this one's longer because the reason for that is I tried the, I tried the shorter ones and the wheel offset is so is even from all the Rustler four x fours wheels are actually the same offset are the same offset, whereas on the on the standard two-wheel drive rustler, the front uh, the front wheels are actually have a have a different offset than the ones on the rear. So I actually had to go back to my local hobby shop to get the longer A arms for the front. But aside from that, it's pretty much what you're seeing here is just a, a standard two-wheel drive rustler. What else? Not going crazy with brushless. So I stayed with the XL5 BC, but at least this one can actually accept the 3S LiPo. So it's a little bit faster than the than the one that's only that's not uh, compatible with 3S. And I have an HPI Racing receiver that my friend actually gave to me. This is an HPI TF40, but I'm a Traxxas fanboy, LOL. So I took off the HPI logo and slapped the Traxxas badge in there. <laughs> I'm evil. I know. I'm sorry. HPIs are pretty cool. And um, we got a Titan 12 turn 550 size motor. This one's pretty powerful for what it is. And what else? That's pretty much it. And also adjustable tie rods for the front and the rear. Uh, the regular two wheel drive rustler does not have that. At least for the XL5 model. I also forgot that I have a wheelie bar uh, installed in this thing. So, yeah. So, that is the comparison, uh, I guess you can call comparison, between my standard two wheel drive rustler and Project El Rouge. So, just to keep it, just to sum things up, uh, this one is just uh, purely built from the ground up. That one is. Uh, pretty much an RTR um, that I just happened to restore because it was salvaged but uh, yeah the, I have like I said I have longer a arms on the front this one has the stock uh, shorter length that's why the offsets a little off compared to Project the Rouge uh, they're the same offset and uh, what else Non-adjustable camber links on the XL5 two-wheel drive rustler. Adjustable camber links and uh, uh, tow linkages front and back for the rustler uh, Project of Rouge. Or should I say the wannabe rustler 4x4 if you want to put it that way. Uh, aside from that, they're pretty much the same darn rustler. I just I just built that one from the ground up and that's a standard RTR rustler that you can just get uh, at your local hobby shop brand new out of the box. So, yep, that's about it. Um, hopefully by next week or by this weekend when I go to my cousin's house, I can go to, escape, to, the, to the nearest skate park from them because they do have a skate park there. Hopefully I can bash these two around that and stuff so hope you guys enjoyed this video